everybody this is captain rl and today this tutorial is going to be about how to get an a zip file saved to a windows computer this is a windows 10 computer using the example to get it from the email and save it to your computer okay and i'll show you a couple common mistakes and uh we'll get on with it right now okay so here is what a typical arrangement of attachments would look like in our file sets. The one we're going to specifically go after today again is the zip file. So here's one here. This is Tampa Bay zip. This is where all the SD cards reside. This could be images. This can be anything. Anything can be put in a zip file. Just for people who aren't one of our customers. But for our customers, this is what you're looking for: is the name of your area. It'll say GPS SD cards. The area zip. Okay, this is to load your own SD card at home. You have to have a Windows computer. You have to have an SD card. And uh, you'll need also some zip software if you don't have it. So let's get started with getting this off the email because that's the first step. Okay, this is Gmail and Chrome. I highly suggest you get Chrome as your internet browser. You don't have to, but I highly suggest it, okay? Because this may look different in yours no matter what email you have. If you've got Hotmail, Yahoo, uh, Comcast, MSN, whatever you have for email, you're going to have some kind of download button on the zip file, on all the files. But we're going out to the zip again. So here you see, again, downloads on the zip file. I'm going to go ahead and left click that because we need that file onto the computer. Okay, and I have my Chrome browser set up to where an attachment comes in, I want to download it. It's going to ask me where I want to save that. So what I'm going to do on this one is save it to my desktop because that's the easiest where easiest place uh, to find it. That's the easiest place for it to be because when I minimize all this, it's going to be right there. So I'm going to click save. And over to the left, you can't see it, but it's, it's now downloading to the desktop and it's done just that quick. Okay. If you don't know how to do that and you've clicked download right here, what most browsers will do if you don't have it set to do that. It's deep into the settings too. This is a flawed, I think, a flawed Microsoft Windows issue with attachments and things that come off email. A lot of people don't know what when they download it off an email where it goes. So you have to go set that up inside the browser, like I said. So I'm going to show you how to find it if you, uh, if you don't know how to save it to your desktop. Because you may download it multiple times and never, and never see it, never find it. Okay, so I'm going to ease over here. And on Windows 10, you have a start bar right down here at the bottom left. Okay, so in that start bar, I'm sorry, search bar, I'm going to type download. Actually, it's with an S, type downloads. And I'm going to slide this over a little more here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to type downloads once again. And there it is. You see it right here? That's where everything's being put. Let's click on that. And you notice I have nothing in there. That's because I've directed everything to my desktop. But if you can't find it, search, search that bottom left bar down here. Right here. Click in there and type downloads. And that should take you to where your zip file saved automatically. Okay? That's the big secret that nobody really knows. A lot of, well, some people do, but a lot of people that aren't really good with computers have no idea where these files are going when they save them. Whether it be a zip file, an image, a video, whatever it may be, documents, anything on an email, they save it, they can never find it again. And that's where it'll be found, okay? But set yours up for the desktop if you know how. If not, go here and get it. So mine's on the desktop, okay? Let me drag it back out here where I had it. Okay, so now, what do we do with it now, right? All right, we're going to learn how to unzip it right here. So whether you went to the Downloads folder or it's on your desktop like this one is, what you want to do here is you want to right-click this file, this zip file. You want to right-click it, okay? You have to have software to open this. If Windows 10 is bad about not coming with software to open a zip file. So... Hop over to Google search if you don't have any software to open a zip file. If you don't have these options when you right click, 
you don't have a zip, a zip program. And get WinRAR. You see it here where I'm highlighting? W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, WinRAR. And get just get the free trial. And it's only like 10 bucks for the thing. But just get the free trial so you can get this out of your life and get this out of your way. Okay? So, we're going to click Extract Files. And automatically, you'll see a string up here. This is called a destination path. And it's going to put it on my desktop. See right here? It's going to put it on my desktop. And then this is the name of the file. How convenient. So it'll automatically, when you click that, and you click Extract Files, it's going to automatically put this folder where your zip file is saved. Okay? It automatically does that. I'm going to click OK. Voila. There it is. Okay, now you're ready to actually use this with the SD card. You're ready to copy the you're ready to copy these files, whatever your brand is, straight to the SD card by right click and copy. It's a, there's a little more to it than uh, than that on some of these. Some of these you'll use the file inside the folder. So that's why these in, these instructions here are included with your email. You may even see these outside this uh, zip file. We attach them. We make sure you see them. So the next video I'll show is on how to load the SD card from this folder, okay, which is the simplest part. Once you've got this far, you, you, you got a whip. All you have to do is take a look at these instructions, and it'll have you going in no time. Saving that zip file and getting it saved to a location you know where that is, that you understand where it is, is the main thing. And remember, in that search box, bottom left, in Windows 10, type in downloads, then click the download folder, and there's going to be your attachments. Okay? All right, I'll end this one here. It's already been too long. And uh, you guys have a good day. And uh, fish on. I'll see you next time.